Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mission Channel 33. I'm here to help solve missing women, children, and men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suited, change if they to see or miss. I didn't see. Okay, they were sent to me yesterday about Fred, okay. It's titled, Former Washington, D.C. Drug Kingpin, relocated to Nashville Federal Center for Release. Okay, um, they do do this to the, they do do to the young guys that get involved that, or traffic kids, they make them pretend like they are drug kingpins, like that, okay, something like that, okay, I don't know. That's what my, my man, my man about that, he knows, I'm putting some clips in as well, when they do the same thing they did to him, okay. A former Washington, D.C. drug kingpin in prison for the last 35 years. So eight has been released to a residential re-entry re center in Nashville, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Rayful Edmund III was initially sentenced to life in prison for his leading role in a large-scale cocaine distribution, you know, prayers, operation in the District of Columbia. According to Federal Court Records, he oversaw an operation that routed more than 1,500 pounds of cocaine through the city each month from 1985 to 1989, profiting about 2 million per week according to court records. The flow of drugs fueled violent crimes across the city, officials said, though Edmund was never found guilty of any violent crimes. Rural prisons, residential reentry centers like the one in Nashville, helps inmates near, nearing release transition back into society. The centers provide employment counseling, job placement, and financial measurement. I'm hearing who. There are 80, I'm thinking of the real ones, my bad. There are 80 such centers across the U.S. Edmund's sentence will reduce in 2021 to 20 years imprisonment and a lifetime of supervised release after he testified in other drug trafficking cases. Providing information in other drug and cold case homicide investigations, incorporated with authorities that led to a change in phone policies for inmates. U.S. District Judge Emmett G. Sullivan wrote in his ruling that Edmund's involvement in the criminal enterprise damaged his community deeply and resulted in the destruction of the lives of many individuals, but that his cooperation with government authorities in the years since were noteworthy enough to reduce his sentence. I will put clips in there to let y'all know what time out. At that time, Edmund had spent more than 20 years behind bars. But he still had another 30 years sentence out of Pennsylvania to serve after he broke deals between people in the D.C. area. Okay, I'm back, y'all. My phone went dead. And I don't know why it been charging this whole time. I think it's because of the dog way of moving it out of my phone now. I'm going to play. So, I'm just going to put it together, okay? So, I'm not going to restart it, okay? Uh, I think I was on here. To serve as he broke deals between people in the D.C. area and inmates with connections to cocaine production facility in Colombia. Okay, my man told y'all rape, okay? Of him, okay? In 2022, Edmund's sentence in the Pennsylvania case was twice reduced. Who? Edmund was relocated Wednesday to Nashville, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. His sentence ends in November 2025. Okay. And that's basically they all they have of him of this, okay? Right the hell more into this case y'all can. I don't do it for the fame of the money, I do it for this what I love to do and to the real families of these victims. Corporate America will set y'all up. Thank y'all, peace, be safe.